Welcome back to the Wichita Toy Trade Cub YouTube channel. Again, I'm still Zachariah. And I'm still Chris. And I'm still Doug. So, as long as you guys have seen us from the previous uh, catalog episode, this is just a continuation. If you did not watch that one, go back, watch that one, or at the very least the intro, so you know what we're talking about and why we're doing it. Anything else, guys? Nope, let's get started okay. with traditional. We are going in with traditional O-Gage. There is not a lot in this catalog, which isn't surprising. So, actually, before we start flipping pages, maybe you guys want to see the catalog. <laughs> that might be helpful. <laughs> that might be helpful. I, I, I'm a professional. The more times I say it, the more likely it's true. <laughs> so, first and foremost, the Line Chief Bluetooth app and the Universal Remote. It's pretty standard. These have been things for a while. Uh, we have videos on our YouTube channel. Check yep. them out. Uh, or somebody has a video, I'm sure. If you don't like ours, I mean, <laughs> I realize it. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible, to ours be honest. pretty good. I mean, I'm not biased. But. Neither am I. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, if you want more information on those, check that uh, stuff out. Uh, so all this stuff can be run with the Line Chief app or the Universal Remote. Um, this table right here is an amazing resource if you're trying to go through and figure out what's got what, what you lose if you're going from Lion Chief to, you know, Lion Chief Plus 2.0 to just standard Lion Chief, so on and so forth. Um, I, we are not going to see any regular Lion Chief Plus anymore, I, I believe. I may be proven wrong, but I'm pretty sure any Lion Chief Plus stuff is all the new 2.0 version. Mm -hmm. And the main thing that that added was the capability of TMCC along with it. And apparently, four traps for evolution. I guess I didn't realize yeah. that the original ones did not. I learned something new every day. Um, any questions from you guys on any of that? Oh, not me. Okay, we will get started. We are starting with Line Chief Plus 2.0 Berkshires. Uh, I listened to none of the Ryan and Dave show <laughs> on this part of the catalog, so I know nothing. Um, we do have, of course, uh, the different pitch levels, whistle, bell, uh, kind of our standard uh, dialogue and stuff. The minimum curve, 031, fan-driven smoke, flickering firebox. So, I mean, a really solid die-cast steam locomotive. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you can't go wrong with the classic 726. There you go, yeah, good line of line 726. So we are MSRP right about 700. Uh, hopefully you guys can pre-order them for around 600 give or take be sure to get your pre-orders in so you make sure you can actually get one uh, otherwise you're gonna have to rely on on hoping somebody ordered some extra <laughs> um looks like we're gonna be having the same uh cast metal colon is that what it looks like to you guys yeah yeah and there's nothing wrong with that i mean that's very traditional to like mm -hmm. a lionel mm -hmm. 726. Yeah, although I think in the past on the on the 2.0 stuff, haven't they gone with real colodes? But I feel like I can't remember to be honest. It's gone either way. Let's see if it yeah. says anything in here. Line of voice control, fan driven smoke. I don't, I don't see, see anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does mention the jewels for the marker lights. So I, I mean, again, that's yeah. very classic yeah, part now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, there's there's something to be said about the new technology, but still within a very uh, you know, tried and true frame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there, so for all the guys that like that stuff, uh, that's always a great option. Mm -hmm. Moving on, we have uh, Line G Plus 2.0 GP7s. Looks like minimum curve of 31. So we directional lighting, fan driven smoke. Electric couplers on each end. Yeah. So, I mean, you're really, I mean, you're talking, it doesn't even look like stamp metal handrails. Well, I mean, it said that it's scale. Too. Did it really? So I'm oh. guessing this is MTH tooling. Might be an older MTH uh, Rail King scale stuff. Yeah, that would make sense to me. I, like I said, I didn't listen to this part of the catalog, so it's very possible. Hmm. Like I said, I didn't even see where it said scale. It's in the, it's in the initial like paragraph at the top. Oh, okay, mm. okay. It's a very sharp looking model, and we're starting at $400 MSRP, so I mean, Not very bad. affordable. Yeah. I mean, scale locomotive, fan driven smoke, I mean, LED lighting. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to expand your railroad and be very friendly to small layouts. Yeah. yeah. Moving on, I think that's all we got for the separate cell locomotives, so we're going to be jumping into sets. And these are going to be the new sets, uh, you know, if you saw sets in the last catalog, but not this one, they're probably still getting made. It's mm -hmm. just we're, we're looking at the new stuff. Great Northern 280, uh, 
Chris, here's your MTH. That's MTH. Yeah, that's <laughs> your, your very MTH yeah. uh, locomotive. It's just straight yeah. copy. Yeah, it's 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 <laughs> kind of wrong to see this in a line right. of catalog. <laughs> Better come in a purple box. Yeah, it's the that's one of the icons of MTH. Really, that that two eight zero tool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So well, it is still got a new life, and it comes out of orange boxes with a remote in the box. Mm -hmm. Times have changed. Times have changed. So we have a full line chief set. Nothing crazy here. We line chief for anybody that doesn't know what we're going to have here is more. We're going to have an operating coupler, not an electric coupler on the rear. Uh, we are going to have puffing smoke. Uh, you're going to have your control with your line chief remote again, completely capable with your app or your universal remote, which we started with. Um, I mean, all your st and you're not going to get crews in a starter set, of course. You'll cut, get with the DC wall pack. Uh, and then once you move on, you're going to want to stick with AC after that because anything else that's legacy, you got to stick with AC power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sets are starting at 469 now. Not bad. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's not crazy considering, you know, yeah. all the. That's, that's mm -hmm. interesting, that load in that hopper there. I wonder what that is. It is, it is pretty. It's like, looks like some yeah. bread or something. Like sandbags? Sandbags, sandbags yeah. Here, here, you know what? Since since we asked, uh, set includes locomotive roller. Potato sack load. Potato. Oh, I guess that makes sense <laughs> yeah. for Great Northern. Idaho potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, let's let's take a closer look at that boxcar there. Boxcar. Yeah, so looks like it's single door. <laughs> um, oh, okay. I, can't, I can't tell <laughs> how many sheaths it has. <laughs> Ongoing here. joke from the uh, last video we just made. Does it, it, does, it, does, it, does it tell us how many sheaths in the description? <laughs> it, does, it does not. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. That's if you do not get the joke, you got to watch the first video. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> and you get a extra add-on car, $70. Minimum turbo, 27 You have a uh, flat car with uh, bulkheads and yeah. a load. Very nice. Very nice. And was that an operating car? I don't think so. Operating couplers? No. Uh, removable stakes, I see. Yeah. Nothing crazy like that. Yeah. Oh, Looney Tunes. I think, Looney Tunes. I think this is the one when I was scrolling through Facebook, also from the last video, <laughs> that I think this is what I saw on the page. So that's okay. That's the only little hint of this catalog I received <laughs> you, you today. You even got... So there, there's a lot going on on this page. Very there, similar, there is. <laughs> very similar so, to the Scooby setup. Very yeah, similar. Colors. Looks like a probably a uh, FT. Let's mm -hmm. okay, let's, we'll just start with the we'll just start with the set. Uh, yeah, it's a FT. So we got line chief, saw all your standard line chief stuff. No smoke, nothing crazy. Yeah. Uh, we have a chasing gondola. Uh, classic. So that's a very that's a line of classic and works great with Looney Tunes. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. a really nice looking uh, paint on the uh, yeah. boxcar with all the faces. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. and if you if you look at the the laptop here, it's oh. less less green. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're we're looking at everything on a projector, so our all of our uh, colors are a little off uh, <laughs> from what you guys are all actually seeing. Uh, and then to go along with your set, oh, you get cool. a <laughs> ACME Dynamite Factory. That's that is awesome. awesome. Yeah. So, is that the MTH, like... The, I think the brewery. The brewery. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 MTH Brewery, and now they brought back their, uh, the fiber optics. They did that with yeah. the red, white, and boom. Yeah. That's so, cool. now did they add a smoke unit? That's real so, that was realistic sounds. So. And smoke like unit. Smoke unit? Yep. Smoke unit. So, if you guys haven't seen what that smoke unit truly is, we're talking about here. You know what? I I, I gotta I gotta show physical size. We're talking about a smoke unit about this physical <laughs> footprint, about yay so tall, and it's literally the DSMK smoke unit that's in like a dual uh, dual legacy locomotive with the uh, that handles the main smoke and the whistle smoke, and you turn them both on, and it just pours smoke <laughs> out. It's insane. We'll jump back to the catalog. So, and, and you can tone that down if you don't want the smoke, of course, but there, it's, it's, if you want the smoke and you want the effect, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. That is a cool. Yeah, that, that's a cool accessory. Yeah. The, and, and to chop it all off, this is, this has got to be the best part of the building, right? <laughs> yeah. If oh. you know, you know. Wiley well, <laughs> <you> Coyote. <laughs> And, and it's not crazy price, 400. I mean, you get a lot of cool things to go along with that building. 
Uh, if you do that, then you just need barrels of dynamite. Yeah. yeah. You can't not have barrels of dynamite. Now, I, I wonder if those are actually explosive, though, or if they're yeah. just, just for show. Depends how determined you are. Well, maybe they're built like the little fire adult yeah. snaps, you know? <laughs> well, you, you know. take one, you throw it. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you could, you could probably just drill out a little hole inside that barrel and just stick a firecracker inside. Yeah. Is it, and then it's, it's explosive. Yeah. Very explosive. DIY. DIY. Uh, although, at $16 a bar uh, for 12 barrels, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be blowing them up. <laughs> just my thought. And then we also have an add-on car. It looks like we have Tasmanian Devil. Is this the aquarium? Yeah, it looks like mm -hmm. it. Okay, so nothing nothing crazy here. Uh, here we can't across the sides. Okay, I was, I was thinking it might have been, it's not the moving one then, no, right? It, it looks like I think like it is. It, yeah. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't say. It doesn't say it though. But it definitely. I, I think that's it. what it's saying. He wreaks havoc across the sides. I think. That's what uh, it's okay. Too. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm smart. And what's on the front of the diesel there? I, that blown up oh, picture. Is, is that Wiley? Wiley coyote? It's Wiley Coyote. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> wow. Bugs Bunny. That's an awesome set. Yeah. Honestly. That's that's really cool. That's that's great that uh, Lionel's uh, just. Mm -hmm diving right in with the yeah, licensed property. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then going back to the uh, aquarium car, I mean, we figured out if it uh, has the moving thing, but did we figure out how many sheets it has? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're still going on with this. Everybody who's only watching this video is <laughs> like, like, what's going what, on? Yeah, yeah, what are you talking about? What are we about? talking about? If anybody in this video knows what a sheath is, <laughs> let me know down in the comments below, because I have no idea right now. Double sheath box car. <laughs> Right? Hey, you know what I'm, you know, we're just gonna Google this later, okay? <laughs> you know, we're just, we'll just move on. Yeah, more more nice. looting tunes, more looting tunes. More so, box cars. Yeah. More, <laughs> no more sheets. sheets. <laughs> no sheets. So we have a hand car, oh. uh, operating hand car. That's oh, that's cool. That'll be fun. That's, oh, those things are always fun to play with. Yeah. Uh, moving down, looting tunes, hair, tiger, box car. Really cool. So these are made in USA boxcars. That's, yeah, that's nice. really that's always really nice to see. They're print. They got print on the top to go along with it. Different sides, uh, boxcar features. Oh wow, they they got really creative on this page. <laughs> they put the boxcar features inside. Cool. That is that is that was really creative by the uh, art department. Yeah, that's awesome. Although um, you know, all this Looney Tunes licensed stuff is nice, but I'm kind of disappointed to see that they didn't do the classic mean <laughs> big chungus. <laughs> with with the Looney Tunes license, because that 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 would really have really have been, been good here. <laughs> I, I I would pay a pretty penny for a big chungus box car. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> Moving on, we have another one. You get some different stuff. More Devil maybe here box car, and that ends our Looney Tune line. Boston Tea Party. Yeah, so cool. moving on there, uh, again, I didn't listen to this end, but I'm sh this has got Ryan Kunkel all over it. So this is yeah. obviously <laughs> their anniversary series of boxcars still. They're uh, pretty sure these are usually made in USA boxcars. This is apparently the 250th anniversary of the Boston Tea, tea Party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't know what that is. I, I can't help you. <laughs> the public school, school system failed you. Oh, Black Hawk Down boxcar. Dang. Black Hawk Down. Battle of the douche. Interesting. I have no idea what that is. Either of you guys know? The the black It's um what that was from? It it was something that happened in the Iraq war. Okay, area. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and they, they made a movie about it. Okay. The movie okay. was called Black Hawk Town. But yeah. I okay, I might have watched that then. Okay. I'm not very versed, okay. You know what? I, I stick with I, I just, I stay with my transition era steam. With your hot dog, if you ask. Hot dog. Wright Brothers, 120th anniversary. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Uh, so, is that from their first flight, I assume? Uh, it was, yeah. <coughs> 59 seconds. Uh, North Carolina, uh, December 17th, 1903. First flight of a power-driven airplane. Wow, that's what that was. That's so that's 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 a really cool box car so, for for all of our. You know, usually anybody that's into trains, you're it's always 
almost always planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, it always seems that way. So that's really cool for all of our uh, mm -hmm. guys that love planes. And that'd be a cool box car to have here specifically since Wichita is the air capital of the world. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is. And, and the only thing I can think of when I see that plane, did you, either of you guys ever go into Exploration Place? And yeah. then you had the simulator. <laughs> oh, of yeah. Older, that, mm -hmm. that was so crude, <laughs> that's, but that's all I can ever think that's of. That's a core memory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My belly hurts thinking about it. <laughs> All right, and then we have another one, 160th anniversary of the Gettysburg uh, Address. That's nice. So that's, that's a nice history there. That is that is also yeah. some great history to add on. Uh, another uh, neat Gettysburg box car they could do is if they did um, an exploding Gettysburg box car for the 30th anniversary of uh, Canadian Pacific 1278. So I think that's coming up pretty soon. So get on that line out. <laughs> I mean, it's still one piece. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. just a flu sheet, right? <laughs> just, just a flu sheet. Nothing. Or major. crown sheet. Crown sheet. Yeah. Crown nothing. Sheet. Nothing major. Nothing major. <laughs> that had nothing to do with it not running now. Oh, is this what I think? It is. <laughs> oh, the weather balloon. The weather balloon. <laughs> so this is a finally catalog. They they announced that this was actually going to be a real thing. I, 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 April first, uh, Lionel posted on their social media. I'm I'm sure they completely thought this was just strictly a April Fool's joke and then everybody wanted it. Yeah. So now it's actually cataloged. This is awesome. Yeah, that, yeah. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> we might have to I might have to get one yeah. just because of that. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, that is that is something else. <laughs> the only thing to make Gosh. it better is if somebody gets an O scale Goodyear balloon that says I'm a blimp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am purely a blimp. <laughs> that's great. Uh Limited uh, availability, so I, something tells me that means their uh, order window is actually already closed on these. Mm, yeah. Moving down, we have our Bethlehem Steel. When do, when do they not do Bethlehem Steel? Yeah, yeah. that's a classic. It's very much a classic. Uh, you can add that on to <coughs> any of your Bethlehem Steel trains. Uh, I, I, this is weird. I singled this out, but I noticed that we have... Huh. They're, they're, the Lionel is actually uh, offering uh, needlepoint uh, smoke fluid applicators. That's nice. Um, usually I go with the Megaseam stuff. Um, I think it's great Lionel's doing it, especially since it's usually their models where I need it. Yeah. I mean, if, yeah. they, if they didn't have the, the, uh, the ability to get that smoke fluid where it belongs, it, it just doesn't make as much sense, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, of course, you have all of the Lionel scents now. They are getting up there in scents. They're going everywhere. And I believe they're still, they're making their smoke fluid here in the US, so that's awesome. Nice. Cool. And I think that's basically it. We will see if there's anything else, but I think that's basically it. Um, there's some Christmas stuff. Yeah, basically, uh, everybody remember the uh, mm -hmm. uh, Disney uh, Mickey Minnie Mouse hand car uh, mm -hmm. from the call, uh, first catalog. Be sure to I'm sure that's going to be a huge hit with Disney's 100. Yeah. yeah. So there's all of the colors if you wanted to see them printed out. And this is, again, this over here is another great resource. Uh, this had, It's almost better than the one up front because mm -hmm. this has legacy also involved if you're wanting to see the difference between all the Lionel control systems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really awesome. They put these in the catalog so you guys can see them and actually know what you're dealing with. Again, I'm just scrolling through to see what we got. Uh, LCCA stuff, LCCA uh, uh, convention is in North Carolina at Lionel this year. Uh, it's in like two mm -hmm. weeks. I'll be there. Cool. Nice. Now on one, one final uh, hit on Zach's wallet there with the UP Givo. Yes. Know, it's traditional. Yes. <laughs> uh, they, uh, the LCCA did that with the 2020 uh, convention that was canceled. Oh, cool. I have that, though, because I ordered it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's already hit and gone, okay? No more hits. Um, and there's nothing crazy. Don't forget about the, the National Lionel Train Day. That's actually a thing. Uh, first Saturday in every December. We need to do something here at the club. Uh, yeah. We'll see if we can do something this year. Yeah. It'd be really cool. Uh, again, like I said, I'm just skipping through. There's officially the end. Yeah. So I will uh, find my mouse. And we'll come back, jump back over here. That concludes the uh, Lionel 2023 Volume 2 catalog. What do you guys think? I think it was an awesome catalog. Yeah, I thought it was solid. For especially Volume 2. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of traditional. I realize this, that's what yeah. this part is. But, yeah. you know, it's, 
it was a solid catalog. Yeah. 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 A lot of a lot of good stuff. A lot of good variety in there. I think a lot of a lot of different people are going to be able to find at least one thing that interests them. Yeah. Or Definitely. ten, and they have to narrow it down to the one. Multiple. Yeah. Or in your case, you want to buy ten of the hot, hot dog. dogs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll wrap this up then before <laughs> they buy more hot dogs. <clears throat> Um, anything else from you guys? No. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, time to wrap it up. <laughs> thank you guys for uh, sticking with us, uh, especially if you watched both videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, be sure to comment down below. Let us know what you're getting. Let us know uh, what a sheath is. <laughs> 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 Moving on. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Definitely. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Help us mm -hmm. out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. That way you get all the notifications yep. of our product reviews, running training videos, catalog videos, layout videos, everything. Grid, you, know, you know, just everything. Yep. Everything. We, you, whenever we get around to it. We get around <laughs> to it. Uh, but that's it for now. Thank you, guys. We'll see you all next time.